love it or leave it. Please put your hands together for the phenomenal Miss Pat. Hey, how y'all doing? Oh boy, you, you ain't get me and T.S. Madison got ass. These chairs is not for our asses. <laughs> Candy fit perfect, we gonna struggle. It's good to see you. Good to see you again. You have a new judging, a new show called Miss Pat Settles It on BET. Yes. Thank you. What is your favorite TV judge from before, in your life? Uh, a Judge Judy? <laughs> a Judge Mathis? A People's Court? Probably Judy. I'm more like Judy. <laughs> I just get to say a little bit more than just Judy get to say. How tough are you as a judge? Well, I'm a convicted felon, so you know I'm real tough. Okay. Now, you've agreed to help us judge some of the members of this crowd. Oh, no, no fucking problem. <laughs> you can curse. This ain't no Christian show, is it? The, the reverend's gone. We can say whatever we want. Oh. <laughs> We'd now like to open the floor to any audience members who think they have something they need Miss Pat and to a much lesser extent me to settle. Please raise your hand. Brian will be out there. Uh, we want to hear about a dispute or a disagreement that you've had. Pick, there, we'll go right there. That's, just pick somebody. Hi, what's your name and what is your dispute? Hi, my name is Jill. My dispute is I was out walking my dogs. I've lived in my neighborhood a long time. I walk my dogs. I'm a good dog owner. And this woman, I'm walking into my driveway, and this woman is like, hey, ma'am, I didn't hear her. She's holding her phone out like this. I'm assuming she's talking on her phone. I'm ignoring her, because it's 6 in the morning. I'm ignoring everyone at 6 in the morning. And she's like, ma'am, ma'am. I'm like, what? What do you got for me? And she's like, why is the little dog limping? Excuse me? Excuse, what? Excuse me? He's 135 years old, and he's held together with super glue and love. The fact that he's out on a walk is a freaking miracle. Can I slash her tires? <laughs> and her face and her ass. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I need you. We're going to go to the West End. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 135. He's you? old. Yeah, mind your damn business. Like, yeah. Before you be lipping. It's, yeah. It's fine. He's fine. I love when a white woman talk back. <laughs> All right, well, there's a, some, there's a sometimes. Some, some, sometimes. Some, <laughs> Hi, Miss Pat. Hi. I'm Miss Pat. I'm Patty Cates. How are you? Just fine. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. God is blessing me. Well, I haven't worked in two months. I lost my job about two months ago. I work for Little Caesars Pizza. Uh, they fired me because of a customer complaint. I was a general manager. And I have been denied unemployment. You was denied unemployment? Yes. They claimed that I knew the policies and procedures, which I did, but I didn't do anything wrong. She cursed me out, so I cursed her back. Was I wrong? So, let me ask you something. While you was there, did you steal anything? No, ma'am. I was on time for the last seven years. I didn't steal oh, a dime. you should have stole something. <laughs> <laughs> See, you wouldn't feel so bad being denied unemployment. Girl, like, God is blessing me, though. I'm here. Well, You're here. You could have blessed yourself before God. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Y'all got to stop putting all that stress on God and learn how to bless yourself sometime. That's the, that is, those are the two, the two messages of this show. <laughs> Hi, Miss Pat. Um, my name is Luders Pierre. What the I fuck you at? <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. We got you. Okay. Uh, the well he's black. We're going to need a little bit more light. <laughs> <laughs> I 
can say that. The well-dressed black gentleman over here. Um, I have a real issue. Um, okay. I purchased my house January 2020. Mm -hmm. I moved here from Miami, Florida. And um, so it's funny that Miss Pat is on the show and my um, president of my community is called Miss Pat. Okay. Yeah, so they cut our grass, right, in our neighborhood. And for some reason, they don't cut, they don't, after they cut, like, you know, the, the thing the, to make the it grass. look good. Yeah, the grass and to, to make it look good in front of your house. Mm -hmm. They don't clean under the, the beds. They call them the beds. So I have a problem. I tell her, we pay $50 a month. You know, we, we should have it clean. So she called the police on me. And I was like... She came outside, and I'm like, she's like 77 years old, and I'm arguing with her in the middle of the road, and she's like lifting up her panties, and I got seven grand, great-grandchildren, they will whoop your ass, and all this and all that. Wait, I said, wait, wait, was she black? She black, girl. She was gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> so now, so now the situation is everybody wants me to run for president. Should I or should I not, and leave it alone? Well, I'm going to say this. If you want that extra grass to be waving up under the bed, run for president. If you just want the top cut off, leave Miss Sally Mae alone. <laughs> she keep making threats at me, and I keep saying, girl, we need it clean. And everybody's like, well, take a position. We got your back. But I haven't done it yet. Do you think I should do it? Hell yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Hey, you ain't never too old to get beat. And those are the only two options for you right now. But I, I, and by the way, don't stop at community president, all right? That's how it begins, all right? First, first you're getting to make sure that they're actually taking care of not just the grass you can see, but the parts that are a little harder to see that you shouldn't have to clean yourself. Next thing you know, you're saying, hey, hey, what's going on with this highway? Maybe I should fix this highway. Next thing you know, you're thinking, there should be a train between our states. Well, he only paid $50 a month. <laughs> but you I, act like he paying 200 <laughs> Fair enough. That's good for $50. I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, what do you want? He want too fucking much. Wait, you want, you want, you want him to, 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 to make the little hedge animals? Well, I just think that it's part of, it's, it's part of our fees. So I think that she should, like, you, you know, know, do what she need to do to make sure that... Because I have to clean it myself. Good. And I'm tired of... Oh. Oh, wow, you just lost Miss Pat so no, fast. No, but they did the hard part. They cut the grass. And if the 77-year-old lady cut the grass, do you really want her to bend over? I'm 51. When I bend over, I lose liquids. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. Yeah. I think Thank you, you Miss Pat. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, well, that's a ruling on that one. Hi, Miss Pat. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, so no I'm one has said hello to me even one time, <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Hi, Sorry. What, what? I'm, um, love it. Love it. Love Close it. enough. <laughs> love it. Okay, so I have a dilemma. So I've been at my job almost ten years. I'll be ten years um, December second. Did you say you quit your job? No, I'm still at my job currently. Put the mic a little bit closer. Just oh, close. I'm still okay. at my job currently. Um, I'll be 10 years, December 2nd. Congratulations. Um, no, fuck them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide. So I have a new management, new first vice president. She's a bitch. Um, Put the mic to your mouth. I'm sorry. Put the mic to oh, your mouth. You know I'm sorry. Familiar. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Um, so um, I've been there a long time. Um, she's been there a long time as well. I've been there longer than her. But she's Excel because um, she's a she's a other. I'll just say that. Um, so I'm thinking about quitting. I'm thinking about quitting and relocating to Mexico internationally. Should I give them a two week notice or should I say kiss my ass and give them? They don't appreciate me. They don't so appreciate let me make sure me. I heard this right. You've been on your job ten years. Yes. And. You and your partner is thinking about relocating. No, to... me by myself. Oh, you yourself is yes. thinking about 
uh, relocating to Mexico. Right. And you want to know, should you give your job a two weeks notice? That's right. Let me ask you this. Do you have a pension involved? Um, I do have um, Well, I need you to give a two weeks notice. Okay, okay. I, now, if it was McDonald's, I would say kiss my ass. But, but I still, no, I still get my money. I was, I was still getting my money if I quit. But I'm trying to be nice about it because I Oh, if you're not going to lose anything, yeah, right. everybody kiss your ass. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure. I'm trying to do it the right way, but I'm like, do I want to go back to them? Do I want to burn the bridge? But I'm like, y'all don't appreciate me, so I'm ready to go. Oh, this, this is Georgia. You can get a job anyway. I'm you in know, Texas. I live in Dallas. Huh? I live in Dallas. You live in Dallas? Yes. Well, guess what? They're opening up plus-size strip clubs all age everywhere. Hey, hey, <laughs> Oh, look at her. She getting ready. I'm ready. Take a chance at life. I mean, hey, you fall down, you can get back up. Stop being so scared to do stuff. My husband worked at General Motors 22 years only because he was scared he couldn't pay his bill. At the same time, I was out here forging checks, selling crack, and I made way more money than he did. <laughs> and that's such an important lesson as well. <laughs> Very important. Let's do one more. Miss Pat, love it. Sure. Love you both. <laughs> Truly. If I'm walking down the belt line and I see a dog put a poop on the ground, should I say something to these mothers? <laughs> okay, Miss Pat, I don't think I need you to settle it, but settle it. So you saying if you're walking on a belt line mm -hmm. and somebody let their dog poop on the should you say something? Should I point them out and be like, you need to pick that That's up? That's a really good question because let me tell you something. I'm 51 years old, and one thing I hate, when people start picking up dog shit, dog shit make the grass grow better. But <laughs> That's what my mama told me. <laughs> she said it was a fertilizer. But now everybody want to be so fucking bougie, they want to pick up dog shit. I'm not picking up that shit. I got three cane corso. All they right, shit right. like me. So you give it a try. I would, if I was you, I would only talk to poodles owners. Poodles only, that's the advice. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ms. Pat. The shit is smaller. And I, think there's a, and I think this is just a reminder that judges are people. <laughs> and they bring their own perspective. There's no such thing as being unbiased and some judges will rule that the grounds all around us, all the time, forever, should be covered in fucking shit. <laughs> and that's, that's what some, that's, and that's why it's so important to vote. I agree. <laughs> and I still ain't picking up no dog shit. Miss Pat. Yes. Any final thoughts? Uh, yeah. You? I don't want to pick up dog shit. <laughs> Would you ever move to Mexico? No, I'm no. I, you know what? We all twisted in this country, but I gotta say, I love the United States of America. I, I wish we could get along and do a little bit better and have better leaders, but I, I have no interest in going nowhere else. That's the last thing I need to be laying on a beach and some little Mexican man jump on top of me. And, and I don't know what he want me to do with him. <laughs> That's my dream. <laughs> he jump on me, underlay, underlay. I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and I'm not, I don't have no beach body, so I ain't going near no damn beach. And that settles it.